Hey everyone, Graham here from therecordingrevolution.com. Sorry if I sound overly sultry. Not what I was going for. Uh, today I want to do a really quick video for all you Pro Tools lovers out there. Um, I was at the NAMM show in Anaheim last weekend, and I was hanging out with some people at the Avid booth, and I was talking in particular to uh, Gregory Chen, who's an excellent uh, DJ remixer. He was doing a really cool uh, demo taking an Alicia Keys song and remixing it in Pro Tools, changing the tempo, changing the pitch, writing a whole new song. It was really cool. And after the demo, I was talking to him in general about Pro Tools 10 and the AAX plugin format. So if you're a non-Pro Tools user, this might be irrelevant to you or might be the most important thing you hear. But mostly for your Pro Tools users, when Pro Tools 10 rolled out with AAX plugins, the Avid Audio Extension, it's just a new plugin format. And at first... A lot of us were confused and frustrated that why is there another plugin format? You know, you've had TDM plugins and RTAS plugins in uh, Pro Tools HD and LE, re respectively. Uh, and now they're creating a new format. And a part of it was consolidation so that you can have an AAX plugin, one plugin written, and it'll work both on the DSP like Pro Tools HD systems and it'll also work natively. Uh, for regular Pro Tools or Pro Tools HD native. Uh, and so it's the same code, basically. But what I wasn't really aware of, and this is where I'm going with this, is just how much more efficient uh, the AAX plugins are than, let's say, the current RTAS architecture. So meaning that the AAX versions of plugins moving forward are better coded, better written to take up less CPU power. Which, what does that mean? That means for you and I, if you're using a native system, like many of us are, uh, we can actually use more plugins in our mixes. We can get more mileage out of our current computer, our current processor. Um, because you hate it when you hit the wall with plugins and your system crashes down on you and you've just maxed out. And everybody knows where their limit is. I'm sure know where mine is. So all I wanted to do today was a very uh, non-technical test to sort of show you some of the visible numbers um, and give you somewhat of a real world example. If you're a genius or a very technical person, you'll probably hate this. So if I get some naysayers, so be it. I just want to help you guys out because I wasn't quite sure or aware of how AAX was really going to help me. And Gregory Chen, Greg Chen really helped me out a lot. So thanks, Greg, if you're listening. This kind of explained a lot of things. So here I have uh, a few tracks, I don't know, 20, 25. And I've got a bunch of plugins instantiated, but they're inactive. And right now my CPU meter, you can see at the bottom, uh, it's only taking 1% just to have Pro Tools running. Um, so what I've got up at the top row is a bunch of the, uh, the Waves SSL channel strip on each track and then the Waves CLA2A plugin. Let me pull those up. Make those active. So it's two rows. So every track's going to have... Uh, the SSL channel strip, E channel, and then below that, they're all going to have an LA2A. So a channel strip and a compressor, uh, both happen to be from Waves. Um, these plugins, I know for a fact, are on my DAW, they're an RTAS version. So they're coded for real time audio suite, RTAS. If you look at the system usage, you're seeing 15% usage. So on, you know, if we want to count it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, maybe 25 tracks, maybe 30. Somebody else can count when you pause this. 25 to 30 tracks on this computer, which is a, a i7 a quad-core processor at 2.0 gigahertz, I think. Uh, not even talking about RAM, but just CPU, having those 50 or 60 plugins uh, instantiated, with RTAS is taking up 15% of my CPU. So that gives you an idea. Let me turn all those off. Now let me pull on a different set of the same number of plugins. And in this case, I'm gonna use the Avid Channel Strip. So a similar type plugin, only this is an AAX plugin. It's coded for a channel strip. Now keep in mind, Waves has announced they're gonna make AAX versions of their plugins. So I'm not comparing Waves to Avid's plugins necessarily. That's why this isn't a beautifully technical test. I'm just comparing an RTAS channel strip and compressor to an AAX channel strip and compressor on every track. Okay, side note, over. Here is the Avid channel strip, and then below that is uh, 
the Dynamics 3 plugin, which has been recoded in AAX now. Uh, so it looks the same, but in my version of Pro Tools, this is now, uh, they're telling me, an AAX version. So look at the, uh, the system usage. It's about 7%, so less than half the CPU power. Less than half. Now, that's huge, okay? Um, that's really huge. This, this is, again, about 50 or 60 plugins and the same type of plugin. So I could mix with the Waves Channel Strip and the CLA-2A, and it'd be great. Um, but if I had an AAX version of those plugins or the, the Avid equivalents here, the Avid Channel Strip, which is the Euphonics 5 modeled console, it's a great plugin. I mix with it all the time or the trusty Dynamics 3, which is a great transparent compressor. Um, both, I could use these instead and save half the CPU power, which means two things. It means either I don't crash, or I can use twice the number of plugins before I crash. Um, and that is real world helpful for someone like me because I have now expanded my limits just knowing that if I can use AAX plugins in the meantime, I'll get more mileage out of my current computer. And that also means moving forward, Pro Tools users are going to benefit because as all these companies make DSP, Waves, um, everybody is, is recoding uh, their plugins for the AAX format, then all of us Pro Tools users benefit because we get the same plugins we love, but they take maybe half, in this world, real world example, they take half the resources to get the same effect. And that is great. You're basically doubling your computer power. So just want to say um, that thanks to Avid for not just rolling out something new just for the sake of being new, but taking the initial you know, bullet, which is frustrating people and having to recode things to make a more efficient plug-in architecture, which is going to make all of our Pro Tools rigs that much more powerful moving forward. So major props, AAX is awesome. Think about that. You can get a, a whole list of... Um, current AAX plugins would have been ported over at avid.com. Click on the Pro Tools link and click on plugins and you can sort of narrow down and see what plugins are available and you can choose to see only the AAX versions. And every day they add more and more. And at the NAMM show, I can tell you this year that a lot of different companies were announcing AAX versions coming out soon if they're not already out yet. Hope that helps. Again, this is Graham at the recordingrevolution.com. I will catch you on another video soon. Take care.